Dr. Sajid here again. We are talking about a slightly different topic. Uh, we are turning our attention to the liver this time. Um, what is called the infection or inflammation of the liver. Now, um, you know this condition as jaundice in children. Uh, we call it hepatitis or like I said, infection or inflammation of the liver. There are three viruses at least, of course there are more that can cause this infection, but we are going to be talking about, in series, we are going to talk about hepatitis A, B and C. And we'll focus on hepatitis A, which is uh, the commonest in children. So we'll talk about the causes, we'll talk about uh, what the symptoms are, um, are there tests needed to diagnose and how can we manage? And then lastly, is it preventable? So a hepatitis A virus, hepatitis, is caused by naturally hepatitis A, which is transmitted from one person to the other. It is also transmitted uh, through contaminated food and water. So if you are not careful or if a child is not careful at home or at uh, school, um, takes food from the vendors, doesn't wash hands, then um, he may get the virus and that might uh, infect him. So the child, once he gets this virus into the body, uh, may not look sick at all initially and it takes anywhere from two weeks to two months for the child to start getting sick. Now this is very important. So that means once the virus hits the body, it takes a long time for the child to show symptoms. And the symptoms are that the child gets a little bit of fever, he may be a little out of sorts, he doesn't want to eat, uh, he might vomit, he just feels poorly, he has no energy, he seems to be lethargic, and you know, he's just laying around and if you offer him even his favorite food, he's not going to like it. So at this time, it's very difficult to diagnose. And when the doctor checks him, he will go over the sequence of events, what has happened, examines and checks the liver. So oftentimes the liver is what we call a little tender. It looks um, all right, looking wise, but when the doctor checks the liver, it's a little sore as we call it and then the child develops the hallmark of this particular problem and that is jaundice. And uh, jaundice means yellowness of the skin as well as of the white of the eye, what we call sclera. So um, jaundice, once it appears, then the parents know what the problem is and then they seek medical attention. So the doctor will then examine the child and make sure that this virus has not affected the child very seriously and that the child is capable of uh, being able to fight this infection on his or her own. Uh, he probably will run some tests and that unfortunately includes blood tests. So a lot of children don't like blood tests but in this um, condition blood tests have to be done to be able to confirm the diagnosis. And these are called uh, liver function tests. So after these are done, then the doctor will confirm the diagnosis of not only of hepatitis, but if he has run tests about what particular virus caused it, then he'll tell you that it is a hepatitis A virus disease. Now that the disease has been um, diagnosed, he will tell you that the child should continue to eat normal food of course, that includes uh, whatever the child eats normally, depending on his age. But to avoid food from the market, from um, places that sell food that is not very clean, and that the child should be washing hands, especially after going to the toilet and before eating, and not to share food with other people in the family, especially the other children. And um, you can eat pretty much everything. The only thing that we don't recommend is a lot of fried foods, a lot of oily foods. And um, um, many parents restrict their child's diet unnecessarily. So he can have whatever he wants except foods that you know he doesn't like or give him a little bit of nausea. Very rarely uh, medicines need to be given, but generally not. And it takes a good one week, two, week, two weeks for the child to recover. 
Again, this is one of the conditions where the older um, child is, uh, the greater the sickness. And so younger children seem to tolerate it better and they recover nicely. Now, is this um, preventable? Yes, it is. So one, I've told you, good hygienic habits. Uh, and we've been harping about this all the time. Hand washing, personal hygiene, uh, clean food, clean water. Uh, be careful. So those are general principles. But there is a prevention vaccine which is called the hepatitis A vaccine or immunization. And it is given in a series of two shots. Uh, the first one being given at the age of one year and the second one given anywhere uh, from six months to one year later. It is a safe vaccine, it is an effective vaccine and it prevents hepatitis A from, uh, from uh, not only your child but other people in the family. So prevention is possible, it's a disease that can cause incapacitation in a small percentage, uh, fortunately, um, it can um, um, cause problems. And uh, if it does, um, then the child may have to be admitted and given all sorts of medications. Totally unnecessary because it can be prevented. So it's a common infectious disease, a common transmissible disease, uh, one that can be avoided by prevention and a little care. So look after your children, we'll be back with another condition.